let's talk about Mesopotamian art. So here's our world map, and we are here, obviously. We're over in the United States and Pennsylvania. So that's us. We are going to travel all the way across the world to Mesopotamia, which is right there. So Mesopotamia is sort of in um, modern day Iraq and a little bit of Syria. That's that little orange spot right on the map right there that you see. Um, everything else that's colored in are things that we're going to cover in this unit. And I'll slowly fill in this map as we go. So Mesopotamia, what what is it? So Mesopotamia was the birthplace of civilization. They call it that just because um, for a really long time, before we had the Mesopotamians, we had nomads, wanderers, or cavemen. So civilization started in Mesopotamia, and that means that we started to develop writing, we started to develop farming. People didn't, weren't moving around all the time, hunting and sort of fending for themselves. Mesopotamia started started civilization, meaning it was the first place where there were cities. You might remember this from history class. So, so it was, this is about 4500, 3500 BC. People aren't really sure. The people of the re region began construct, constructing cities, the first cities ever built. Mesopotamians were the first to have a formal religion and build monumental structures devoted to kings and gods, meaning that they're the very first people that, that built um, temples and structures before a specific god that they believed in. Okay, so historians co often call Mesopotamia the cradle of civilization. So basically, you might ask yourself, why did people pick there? Of all places, why was this the first civilization? Why were these the first cities? And the answer to that is uh, two rivers. So usually when you have a civilization that we're going to talk about, there's a natural resource that made it possible, possible for people to live there. Um, for Mesopotamia, there were two rivers, the Tigris and the Euphrates, and um, because of that water source, people were able to live there. In about 3500 BC, the people of the region began constructing cities, and um, different groups rose to and fell from power in ancient Mesopotamia. There are three different groups that we're going to talk about, the Sumerians, the Assyrians, and the Babylonians. We aren't going to talk about them in super great detail. We're just going to talk about some of the art that they created. So why do we care about Mesopotamia, basically? Why is it interesting? Why are we still talking about the Mesopotamian art? And the the, the interesting thing about Mesopotamia is they were the, one of the first to, de to develop a form of government, and they called that a city-state. That means that each city was its own, basically like a country. So... Um, certain cities would be fighting other cities. That's the structure of a city-state, and you'll hear me say that a lot throughout this unit. The Mesopotamians were the first to formalize religion and build mo monumental structures. They developed law codes, mathematics, pottery, weaving, and metalwork. The Sumerians were the first. Actually, they think that the Sumerians settled around 4,500 BC, a thousand years before that, but they didn't start building cities until a little bit later. The Sumerians invented the first writing system, which is called cuneiform. They wrote by pressing wedge-shaped reeds or sticks into clay to form specific patterns. It wasn't handwriting or letters as we know them now, but they understood what, what it meant based on um, you know, this sort of system that they, that they developed. So pretty interesting. Mathematics, pottery, weaving, metalwork. They had pretty advanced art, actually, um, and they also developed the first form of writing. Okay, when were the Mesopotamians alive? Um, I created the timeline for you guys that we're going to build onto, and here, here we go. So you have the Sumerians were first. Um, this, this is a, so this is a crazy timeline. If you look at this, um, this is 5,000 years before the birth of, of Christ, which would be AD right? <laughs> Each color changes 500 years. So the Sumerians were first. The Assyrians came next. They lasted from about 2500 BC to 612 BC, and the Babylonians came after that. They um, were from around 1895 to 539 BC. And those are your, those are your um, different Mesopotamians. So when I say Mesopotamians, it's not necessarily a just one group of people. Mesopotamia is an area that has three different groups of people. And those are the different groups of people on our timeline. Okay, 
as you read, as you go through this summary, or if, as you read through the on, online school, I want you to look for these words. So ziggurat, that's a word that you need to know. You need to know about relief sculpture. We're going to talk about Ashur Nasir Paul II and this sculpture about hunting lions. So we're going to learn about what relief sculpture is, and we're going to talk about this specific thing. And then architecture, we will talk about Babylon's Ishtar Gate. Um, so this, all this stuff is in Babylon. The Ishtar Gate, Hanging Gardens, and the Temple of Marduk. And that's, that's pretty much what we're going to focus on. So look up for those words and also focus on your vocabulary words. Okay, um, I want you to also pay attention to what you have to do for this assignment. So the assignments that go with this lesson, really just practice your vocabulary words. Um, and you're going to take the Mesopotamia and Egypt quiz after you read and go through all the lessons about Mesopotamia and all the lessons about Egypt. So don't take it yet. And then writing assignment three kind of encompasses a lot of stuff that we're going to talk about this week and next week. So you'll uh, just keep that in mind too. You don't have to do it yet. So um, just uh, make sure that you're thinking about that as you as you read though. Okay, now go ahead and learn some more things about Mesopotamia. Okay, so that concludes the introduction to ancient Mesopotamia. Go ahead and get started on your reading and hopefully you learn a few things.